try to understand the Bernoulli principle and will mainly you know drive the Bernoulli equations the Bernoulli principle is the summary of the Bernoulli principle is if the velocity is higher then the pressure will be lower if the velocity increase pressure will decrease if the pressure increase velocity will decrease that's actually the the summary of the Bernoulli principle you look at this schematic this is the cross-sectional view the diameter here and the diameter here this is the same but it suddenly become narrower at the center so we put this cross-sectional area uh, for this part this is a1 a2 and a3 that's the area velocity v1 v2 v1 here so what do you say this v1 and v1 this is same but this v2 it should be higher according to the the Bernoulli principle um, we can do a lot of discussions here but um, as I'm going to drive this so yeah I'm not going to discuss all the theories here so what we said is the velocity it will be maximum here Bernoulli said if the velocity is lower pressure will be higher so if the mass flow rate is constant you look here uh, if this is the inlet and this is the outlet so when it has only one inlet one outlet that means the mass flow is coming through this inlet that it will be equal amount of the mass flow through the outlet that means when at this section there should be also an equal amount of the mass flow so when this five it becomes narrower at these sections the velocity does lower here because the high cross-sectional area and due to the low cross-sectional area velocity will increase significantly you know how nozzle works so when it is the low speed you see the velocity v1 is lower here that means v1 is lower than v2 low speed means you know high pressure here the velocity is higher that means the pressure it will be lower okay forget about it we actually need to drive this expression the Bernoulli equations so when we'll um, drive this Bernoulli equation so we'll consider a fluid particle this is the coordinate system this is the streamline the fluid particle it is um, it is in a flow field and this is definitely a steady flow we are applying the Newton's second law of motions along this streamline so we said the force uh, th we took very you know small section a differential sections and this distance from here to here ds so from when we're talking about the linear momentum equations in fluid mechanics so you see it's linearly increasing along this streamline so we said the fs force equal the mass and the accelerations along s x along the streamline s so we said m a s now um here we said we're not going to consider any frictional forces because we do not have any pump any turbine here no mechanical devices and no heat transfer along the streamline as well so that's we're neglecting but what's the forces acting here along this s directions this is only the pressure force from both directions the pressure force from this direction pressure force from, from this directions so pressure uh, force if we actually want to calculate pressure at this point let's say we don't know the pressure so let's say it is p and this cross-sectional area is a so it is p da this is very small section so area is da for this part let's say it is p plus delta p so if the pressure is p here at this point here pressure will increase little not that much so we said this is delta p so that's the pressure difference if we um, you know calculate the difference between these two value then we'll get the you know pressure for these sections so now another thing is the weight is acting uh, to the downward direction it makes an angle theta here so this theta you see this is actually the normal and this theta okay it, it is actually between the normal of this streamline and the vertical z axis but here this force you see this is the downward uh, weight force it is acting downward directions it is just the opposite directions but this angle it is in between this normal you know normal means it makes 90 degree angle here and this vertical z axis 
okay we can um, enlarge this part here like this okay so if we now the sum of the forces is these two forces and this force so it's p dA p plus dP dA and this weight force and it is equal to acceleration term now we know the mass mass equal we can write rho dA dS I'm not going to explain this weight we know mg or rho g dA dS for this elementary sections now we substitute the values here for m uh, we substitute m equal rho dA dS you look here we substitute it rho dA dS and we have the v dV dS mass w w is um, you see rho g dA dS rho g dA dS okay so that's the mass and uh, now if we simplify this if we simplify this you see we can simply cancel out the da the area the differential area for this term so it will be dp it is rho g you know um, it will be dj because we know uh, we had actually sine theta so sine theta equals dz over ds so we simplified this we just solved this expression we got this now here we have v dv so we can write v dv this is equal half of dv square how this d this is actually the differentiation term the if we differentiate v square it will be half 2v dv so this v 2 this 2 you can cancel out so it is v dv the same thing so we can write v dv it is equal half d v square so that's we substitute the value v dv equal half dv square and we just you know put this term to the uh, you know the right hand side so all if all this term dp and rho gz dz goes to the right hand side it will be positive and you can write it's equal to zero you know how to, we did it now for steady flow these two terms uh, this is the exact uh, differentials it is constant but this one dp this is d is the differentiation sign if we integrate it if we integrate it then for steady flow it will be the term now if we integrate that this differentiation and this integration sign will cancel out each other so it will be p over rho we already have b squared to gz so this is the uh, it is equal con equal constant along a streamline so that's actually the the Bernoulli equation. So Bernoulli equation is the sum of the flow, you know, the the sum of the flow energy, kinetic energy, and the potential energy. They are constant along a streamlines. So this is along the streamline for one point. But if we have two points, let's say uh, on the same streamline, so we have two points. So the Bernoulli equations uh, between any two points on the same streamline for one we can say uh, you, you look here p rho v square 2 and g z so let's say this is the streamline point 1 this is point 2 point 1 we can say p on rho 1 okay v on square 2 g z 1 for point 2 p 2 rho 2 v 2 square 2 g z 2 we know this is equal constant this is equal constant so if this equal constant if this equal constant so we can say this equal this so that's what uh, actually the Bernoulli uh, equations between any two points in the same streamline so that we will use these equations again again and again when we will solve some problems so that's the Bernoulli equations and that's for the steady flow for unsteady compressible flow we have got this um, you just keep in mind these expressions but we'll not drive this um, and this is not actually our common interest for this subject so actually we will use this one the Bernoulli equations between any two points so we have got some special cases and I'll discuss that during the lecture so that's it